Welcome back. Today we're making papa a la hoinkaina, a Peruvian dish. It's kind of like Peruvian scalloped potatoes. It's gonna be really good. Let's get to it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is start on our potatoes. I'm using golden potatoes. I just like it. I think it's got a little more flavor than russet. You don't have to peel them. You can leave the skin on if you think it looks uh, pretty enough. Might also help it stay together when we're boiling them. So I'm just gonna slice these. I want them to kind of all be like a uniform thickness if I can. All right, so now I'm gonna take all these potatoes. Well, I guess I should just boil the water first and then drop the potatoes in. While I'm waiting to warm up the water for the potatoes, I can start on the sauce. And the sauce is what makes uh, Papa La Huancaina. So I found this actually at the grocery store. Last time I, on the blog, I show you how to make the sauce yourself with ingredients you might find uh, locally, because it can be hard to find the specific pepper. But this is, actually has the actual pepper in it. Um, I found this in the chip aisle. Apparently it's a dip for potato chips, but I'm gonna see if I can make a sauce out of this. So I'm just gonna give a taste real quick just to get an idea of how spicy it is. Yeah, it's a good level. So it's like slightly spicy, not too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get about a cup of this like ahi amarillo uh, chip dipping sauce. I'm gonna cut it with a little bit of ev evaporated milk and we're gonna try and melt some queso fresco in there. That's gonna form the basis of our sauce that is really gonna bring this dish together. Probably about half this can. So now I'm gonna put about maybe a cup of this in here. I think this is just gonna help it spread more easily. Eventually. There we go. Oh. I think that'll work. A little bit of the liquid's gonna come off when I heat it up. It's looking nice and spreadable. So I'm gonna try and crumble about like half my thing of cheese in here. And hopefully this will melt. <laughs> it might not. I've heard queso fresco is not really a, a melting cheese. But if not, then we'll get like some lumps of cheesy goodness in there, hopefully. I'm just gonna give this a taste. Okay. Yeah, still get a little bit of the spice, the dairy and the milk and the cheese. Just cutting that a little bit. Okay, so the water is boiling. We've squirted our cheese everywhere. And now it's time to take our potatoes and add them to the pot. And we're gonna let them boil for around 10 to 12 minutes. Next thing I wanna do, oh, I'm also going to boil a smaller pot of water because uh, we're gonna make some hard boiled eggs. It's gonna be like a nice little garnish. I think it's pretty traditional. So. Now I'm just gonna start with some of these other garnishes for the end. This is green onion slash scallion. Uh, this is some parsley. Uh, you don't have to use this, but I think it just adds a nice little touch of color. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the burner now. And I wanna do this, I think pretty low and slow. you can't melt cheese at like too high of a temperature or it just kind of like hardens up. So I just want to heat this up a little bit and get the cheese melted. Now we're just going to keep stirring this. Uh, once that boils, we're going to add our eggs and I'll see you when it's time to plate. What do is just put these in a bath of ice water. And that'll stop the egg from cooking, and it also makes it easier to uh, shell it. Do that in a second. So the way you can tell the potatoes are done is just spear them with a fork. And yeah, it goes right through, like, pretty tenderly. And it's not, like, mashy, which is what we want. We don't want them to just fall apart and become mashed potatoes. We want them to be nice little slices. So now, how are we gonna get them out of here? That's a good question. Well, uh, let me think for a sec. Ideally, I would just, like, drain all the water out of here, but I'm just trying to fish out the ones I like. The strong 
leave the weak potatoes behind. Also, if you're wondering, queso fresco does not melt. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do is just plate these potatoes. It's maybe kind of like a spiral pattern. It's supposed to be like bar food, like I think like getting drunk food in Peru, so you don't have to be like too precise with it. All right, now I'm just gonna take a big spoonful of this sauce. And it is more impressive with a ladle. Scallions. Parsley. And another traditional thing would be to add some egg. So I'm just gonna quarter this. I almost forgot some olives. I meant to buy slices, but apparently I didn't. And then finally, if it's not spicy enough for you already, you can add a little bit of hot sauce at the end. All right, time for the taste test. Let's see, this is gonna be so good if I ate it half an hour ago, because we spent a really long time getting that thumbnail. It's gonna be stone cold, but. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good. Slightly spicy and cheesy. Like, if you're drunk, this would be so good. Even when you're not, it's still really good. Like, comment, and subscribe if I should splatter the camera again. Woo! <laughs>